Hi friends and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at how to find common elements in three sorted arrays. Let us now look at an example. Here we have three arrays, array 1, array 2 and array 3. These arrays may or may not have equal number of elements and are sorted in increasing order. We can clearly see that 20 and 80 occur in all the three arrays. So, our output should be 20 and 80. Here is another example. We can clearly see that the output should be 5 and 5 as it appears in all the three arrays. Let us now discuss a simple solution. First, we find the intersection of first two arrays. We store that in a temporary array. Then, we find the intersection of third array with the temporary array the new intersection will give the intersection of all the three arrays. The time complexity of the solution is O of n1 plus n2 plus n3, where n1, n2 and n3 are the sizes of array 1, 2 and 3 respectively. Clearly, this is not an efficient way of finding the common elements because of two reasons. First, it requires extra space. Second, it requires two loops. So to avoid this, we will find common elements without using extra space and using a single loop. To find common elements in three arrays, we run a loop and traverse the three arrays. Let the current element traversed in array 1 be x, in array 2 be y and in array 3 be z. Inside the loop that we are working on, there can be four cases. Case 1, when x, y and z are all the same. In this case, we can simply print any of them as the common element and move ahead in all the three element arrays. In case 2, when x is smaller than y, x will surely not be the common element, so we can move ahead in array 1. Case 3, when y is less than z. In this case, y will surely not be the common element, so we can move ahead in array 2. In the, in the fourth case, when z is the least element, we move ahead in array 3 as it cannot be the common element. Let us now look at an example step by step. I have just picked up an example from the starting of this tutorial. Array 1 has elements 1, 5 and 5. Array 2 has elements 3, 4, 5, 5 and 10. Array 3 has elements 5, 5, 10 and 20. As we can clearly see, these arrays are sorted in increasing order. Now, the current element will be for array 1 will be x equal to 1, for array 2, y equal to 3, and for array 3, z equal to 5. We can clearly see that x, y, and z are not the same. Hence, we cannot print them as the common element. We know that x equal to 1 and y equal to 3. So, x is less than y. So, therefore, x cannot be the common element. So, we move ahead in array 1. Next, we have x equal to 5. The current value of x has changed to x equal to 5. Now, x is greater than y, so x can be a common element if it is present in both array 2 and array 3. Next, we look at z. Now, y equal to 3 is less than z equal to 5. So, obviously, y cannot be a common element as it is less than y. So, we move ahead in array 2. Then, we have y equal to 4, which is again less than z. So, it cannot be a common element and we again move ahead in array 2. Next value of y is y equal to 5. We also know that x and z are also 5. So we found our first common element which is 5. The above steps are repeated and we find a co another common element that is 5. So the output is 5 and 5. Now let us look at the implementation in C++. We have a function find common which takes array 1, array 2 and array 3 and their corresponding sizes as its parameter. Variables i, j and k are used for traversing array 1, 2 and 3. Here this while loop runs till none of these arrays goes out of bounds. Uh, simply case 1 when all the three elements are equal we print them and we move ahead in all the three arrays. When x is less than y we move ahead in array 1. When y is less than z, we move ahead in array 2. And 
when x is greater than y and z is less than y so we move ahead in array 3 that means z is the smallest in this case as mentioned earlier the time complexity for this solution is o of n1 plus n2 plus n3 in the worst case the large sized array may have all small elements and middle sized array has all the middle elements brings us to the end of this tutorial where we discussed on how to find common elements in three sorted arrays thank you for watching and please leave your comments and doubts in the comment section thank you